Okay, so our next topic revolves around this Lebanese ski champion called Nour Kairouz and some pretty racist comments she made about Syrian refugees on her Instagram stories like three weeks ago. I've been wanting to talk about this for like three weeks, but I just haven't had the opportunity given, given COVID and the shooting schedules and everything and electricity. Just before we get into it, I am not an expert on refugees, on all of that sort of thing, the situation in, in Syria. I am I do not qualify to talk about this. But I'm gonna give my opinion on it as like a fucking human being. Okay? So first let's watch the video. It is a three minute collection of fucking stories. Like she went fucking at it, Yanni. Yeah, um and uh, I'd love to know what you guys think. Hi, with all my respect to the refugees, you know, shit's going to get into some racist, dark territory when you start like, no offense to the refugees, no offense, okay? You know, you know, it's about to get pretty offensive. It's time for you to go back to your country. I couldn't keep it in. I couldn't keep this racism bottled inside anymore. I had to tell the Syrians to fuck off. They can go back and very safe So that's why thank you. We don't need your help. Best we don't need you to help Okay, so she's just unloaded a lot, a lot of racist stuff in there, but first, let me just acknowledge a couple of things where she's not entirely wrong. Yes, Lebanon is currently hosting 1.5 million Syrian refugees. We are a tiny, extremely poor country. We can't really handle that many refugees. It's not the refugees' fault. She's making it sound like it's their fault. They're, like, they're happy to be here. They're living the high life, getting free education, free food, and free money. Bro, according to the UNHCR, 9 out of 10 Syrian refugee families in Lebanon are living in extreme, extreme poverty. Living conditions for Syrian refugees be Lebanon be Bahadlo. These people don't want to be here. Trust me. If they could go back home and if, if it were a safe option for them to go back home, they would have done it. Okay? Have a bit of humanity. The rest of the international community has abandoned us. They have abandoned these refugees and they've left us and they're more than happy to let Lebanon handle them. And we can barely handle ourselves. But 
to shift the blame. Ka'enno, it's the refugees' fault that we're going through what we're going. This is what politicians are great at doing. When they want to shift the blame, they want to distract you. Now, right now, instead of you dropping a three-minute video complaining about Lebanese politicians and our corrupt politicians, you're complaining about Syrian refugees. Powerless, poor refugees who are living in shitty fucking conditions. You are now ranting about them for three minutes. You just talked about the Syrian refugees and how they're ruining the country. They have no food. They have no access to clean water. I don't know where you're pulling this shit out that they're getting paid in dollars or that they're here to take over the country. That is just like old racist propaganda talk. And you're doing exactly what the government wants you to do. You are distracted. You are shifting the blame to a poor and powerless part of our society rather than focusing on the problem at hand. Does Lebanon have too many Syrian refugees? Unfortunately, yes. But Skamina, the way she's referring to them is like, as if there's some kind of fucking zbele. Here's this trash. We don't want this garbage. You take it. No, you take it. Hey, bro, we should be honored to have these fucking people here and trying to help them. We're, we should be apologizing to them because of how badly we're able to help them rather than in a bihun jmile for some fucking bullshit. That's just how I see it. I know a lot of you guys are going to disagree. But to me, this just came off as incredibly insensitive, incredibly stupid. Like, kill al-mashikil yannayayun halla bi Lebanon. And you're like a fucking ski champion who's supposed to represent us internationally in front of the international community. You can't be fucking talking like this and being so insensitive and so ignorant and so stupid and so racist. Like, I don't want you representing Lebanon in ski. I don't give a fuck how good of a skier you are, but that's just not how you fucking talk about this shit. I don't think I need to be a geopolitical expert to understand that the Syrian refugees that we have here are unhappy to be here. Most of them, okay, most of them would love to go back. They're living in shit, shit, shit conditions. They have no access to clean water, no access to food, no access to education, no access to money. And she's making it sound like they're living the high life and then, and that the UN is trying to kick out Lebanese people so that Syrians can take over. It's just so like, and shit like that. Mabarif, man, just get out of this fucking mentality. Do not.